Okay, it is Wednesday, I think December 8th, and I'm hoping I sorted out my um, focusing problem with the camera. I was in Boston for the last two days, um, getting just stuff out of my apartment and things like that, and I'm back in New York. The place is a little bit of a mess because, like, I've still got piles of some things I brought back that I need to, like, put away. But I ended up flying back because I brought back two, sa two suitcases full plus my, um, like, that big um, Longchamp bag, which, you know, extends, so I had it on the extended setting. So I checked two bags and carried one on, and... Um, that's, that was okay. It wasn't that bad, lugging all that stuff. You know, two of them are wheelie bags, so it was pretty easy. And then the hard part was getting everything up my stairs here. So I had to make, I actually did it in two trips, which I was very impressed with myself. Like I carried the one really large suitcase up one time, and then I carried the smaller suitcase and the duffel, like I put the duffel bag crossbody and carried those up. So that's that. I'm on my way. Well, it's only a little after 10. I have a nail appointment at 11. But I'm going to go, um, I want to go to the REI store because there's something I want to get my brother-in-law for um, Christmas. So I'm going to go do that. I could get it online, but I kind of want to go look at it um, in person. So I, you know how you can look online and see what store has what you want? I think they have what I want and the color and the size I want. So I'm going to prance over there, then get my nails done. Then I pretty much have to come back here because I have a grocery delivery between 2 and 4. Um, and then I have it, an interview with a, rec like with a recruiter who has a possible job for me. So she wants to meet me first this afternoon at 4.30. Then I think my brother's coming over for dinner. So that's the reason I need the grocery delivery because I'm going to cook tonight. Um, so yeah, so that is really it. I, um, yeah, I'm on my way out. I'm wearing, so I ordered on sale from Uniqlo, their cashmere sweaters. See, I've gained some weight here. I need to like lose this little scrunch. I'm not pleased. But anyway, um, these are really nice and soft. This is the XXL, so you definitely have to get a bigger size if you're my size. But it's very nice, and it was like, I don't know, 50 or $60, which is really nice. And you know that, that lovely Lizzie Hadfield that does the testing basics? I'm pretty sure she said that she really likes the Uniqlo cashmere sweaters, which is why I ordered a few. So I'm wearing this one today. I wanted to wear loose jeans because I'm getting my um, toes done, so I need to roll them up. And I'm wearing my new Gucci loafers, which truly feel like slippers. They're amazing. And then um, the other thing is I have a confession. I bought a new bag. So last week I was wandering around. I was killing time. I think I was killing time before a meeting I had, and I went into Bloomingdale's, and I looked at the, um, I looked at some bags. I looked at the Dior, the Dior Ever in the small, so you know how I have the the large Dior Ever in the crinkled silver. Um, I looked at a smaller size in a gray, and a navy. I looked at a few of them. I'll, I'll, I put, took a picture of the ones I looked at. I can put it in here. And then I also went to Chanel and looked at, um, a oh, beautiful navy large cocoa handle. Gorgeous. Love it so much. So beautiful. However, it's like almost $6,000. And I was like, I just, I don't know. So when I was in Boston, I talked to Alicia about my review of the bags. And so she went to the Dior store in Boston and they had the one I wanted. So I got the smaller gray um, do or ever. Oh, 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 oh. The other thing that's happening is the neighbor downstairs. Maybe you remember when I first moved in, I talked about how I'm trying to be so careful on the wood floors so as not to disturb anyone. Well, apparently she was disturbed because she complained. But I was surprised because I feel like I'm so careful. But anyway, I just have to be really careful. So I do have my shoes on, but these are soft shoes and I'm, I'm not making, you know, they're not clumpy shoes. But anyway, here's the new bag. Um, and I'm wearing it today, and I really love it. It's like really the, a nice size. Like my other one is definitely a bigger size, 
Oh, I'm like, what is that noise? It's this. So, you know, I got... Back in Boston, I had the Sonos speakers, but now Sonos comes with, I don't want to say it too loud because she'll, she'll, comes with Alexa. See, she thinks I'm talking to her. And, um, mm. anyway, so I got that new speaker and it keeps making noises because she thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> I was like, nobody else is in here. What's making that noise? So, okay, I guess I'm on my way out and perhaps I will check in with you later. So it's Wednesday, December, no, Wednesday, no, it's Thursday, December, whatever it is, and I am hung way over. So, you know, my brother, sister, and I, we do this bi-weekly Wednesday night dinner. My sister couldn't come last night, but my brother and I did it, and I had him over here last night. Oh my God, the alcohol and wine consumption was off the charts. So I made us Vespers, so we each had a cocktail. And then he drank two bottles of wine by himself, and I drank more than one. I just dipped into the second bottle of wine. And then this morning when I woke up, I was thinking, oh, like I dragged my butt out of bed. I'm like, I'm going to go put the Today Show on and watch it while I, like, you know, get rid of all the dirty dishes from last night. Apparently, and this is the positive part of the story, apparently I already did that, and I didn't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's how much wine was consumed. So, needless to say, I did not go to the 9.30 scheduled Pilates class that I was going to go to because I did not feel like it. And so here I am in my robe, willing myself to get dressed. It's almost 11. Alicia's in town. I'm meeting her for lunch at 1. So I do have a reason I have to get out of here today. Um, yeah. So that's my story. The other thing that I forgot to report, which is very exciting, is that... so. My brother's work holiday party is tomorrow night. And my sister-in-law's work holiday party is tomorrow night. And so he has to go to his holiday party because he just took on a new role. They bought this company. Like, you know, he kind of needs to be there. But my sister-in-law's holiday party is they bought out tickets to see Hamilton. So I am now going in my brother's place. And I am so... So excited about it like I have wanted to see it my sister and I we were we want I wanted to so I want to see a bunch of plays but my sister and I actually scheduled to go um, I think in February to see Dear Evan Hansen but when we bought those tickets we were going back and forth between Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen and um, she was like well I'd rather see Dear Evan Hansen I was like fine so um, I now got lucky because now I'm getting to go see Hamilton tomorrow night. Psyched. So, so, so psyched. And then the other quick thing I should point out that I did not yet show you is my newest flower arrangement. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. I like doing my little flower arrangements. I did these yesterday in advance of my brother coming over. Okay, just a quick check-in for my outfit of the day. These are my new leather trousers from Vince. I forget. My Jean Vito Rossi booties, which I love. Burberry scarf, Stella McCartney jacket, and my new Dior bag. Um, so I am off to meet Alicia for lunch at the Whitby Hotel, which will be very fun. I've never been there. It's supposed to be super cute. So that's it. So I'm getting dressed to go to see Hamilton tonight, and I wanted to show you what I'm going to wear before I totally put it on, because I got this new Chanel jacket yesterday at Bergdorf's on sale. 
So I was toying between, hold on. See, like, just hold on. Look at this, like, gorgeous braiding with the hound's tooth. And it's got these kind of exaggerated shoulders. It was one of the runway pieces. Um, I was toying between this one and there was a navy blue long traditional like classic Chanel jacket. But you know more like a duster kind of topper coat. And I almost got that one. The shoulders were too big. They were going to have to do like $200 worth of alterations to fix the shoulders to, to make it look better. But the, I was with Alicia and she spotted this houndstooth one hanging up and it happens to be my size. So I was like, they had the, they literally had the seamstress come up to pin the shoulders and all that. And then when I tried this one on, the, you know, of course the saleswoman was like, you should get both. I'm like, I don't think I can get both. And I hemmed and hawed because I've been wanting a class, like I have a few Chanel jackets. I know this is a real sob story. I have a few Chanel jackets, but I never end up getting the classics, even though I want a classic one. But I ended up getting this one. So I'm gonna wear it tonight and I'll show it to you once I'm dressed. Okay, so here's the whole getup, the new jacket. I'm trying to be quiet because I have my shoes on. Don't want to disturb the neighbor. A cost sweater, my Vince leather trousers, um, my Stuart Weitzman booties, and my Lady Dior bag. Oh, and a Chanel necklace, tipping toe. Um, so this is the getup. Let's see, let's sit down. Blah. All right, well, well, you know what? It's better when I put it here, because we can see me better. There, so today, I got up this morning, I went to the container store, because I feel like my stuff is just not organized nicely here. So there's this kind of Ikea chest thing, and the drawers are like really big, and so I wanted to get some stuff to organize things in there, I wanted to get some shoe racks, and I think I also, yes, I did. I ended up getting it. I also got a rolling rack. I know there have been some suggestions. So I think in that like area of the apartment that's kind of like dead space, I'm going to put the rolling rack and that'll be making some of my videos easier to do for you guys. Um, and of course, the beauty of New York is I can have it all delivered and they'll have to schlep it up the stairs. So that's all coming on Sunday. So I did that. Then I went and I waited in line at Russ and Daughters. So Russ and Daughters, for those of you who don't know, is like this amazing New York institution um, where you can get like, you know, the freshly sliced lox, smoked salmon, like, you know, all different varieties of like Jewish delicacies. So I, my sister and her, my nephews, like they love the bagels from there and I've been bringing bagels pretty much every weekend. But it's always such a mob scene in there and it just doesn't really seem like, I'm like, if I'm going to wait in line for the bagels, I should get salmon too. So I went and I waited in line for the bagels, got smoked salmon, got a cinnamon babka, and I'm going to head up to the Burbs tomorrow morning. And then I'm coming back Sunday afternoon. My goods from container store should be delivered. And the guy that owns the apartment, who's been coincidentally, I don't know if I've told you guys this story, coincidentally, the guy that owns my apartment lives outside of Boston. So he's in town, so he's going to come by... Sunday look at the windows that I showed you guys that are broken and um, also just because we haven't actually met in person although I feel like I know him so that is the story um, of tonight I'm so excited like so excited to go see Hamilton tonight like I'm just so thrilled that I'm getting to go see that because I've wanted to see it I, I would have paid to go see it like I was planning to eventually do it but I just hadn't gotten to it so I think next week on my agenda of like cultural endeavors, I want to go to the Metropolitan Museum because there is a David Hockney exhibit there. Um, and I, if, I don't even know if I've been to the Met or if I have, like, I probably have, but it was, I definitely have, but it was so long ago. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna, I might do that Monday because the Met is open on Mondays. And then I also, there are a whole bunch of other plays I want to see, but there's one called The Parisian Woman with Uma Thurman. 
So I was thinking maybe I'd try to squeeze in a matinee one day next week. Um, but I don't want to like buy the ticket yet because I'm I have like I met with this recruiter the other night and I'm pretty sure she's going to try to send me on an interview. So I want to be like flexible. So anyway, um, that is the story of the day. So happy Friday. So testing. How is the focusing of this? Can we see the braiding? Can we see my face? What do we think? What about if we try to look at something else up close, like this? There we go. That's better. Let's try to go back to me. There, now we're in focus. Okay, I think we're better now. So this is what I wake up, wake up to this morning. <clears throat> Another person trying to attack New York City. So frustrating. Let me just look. I think I'm in focus. Oh my God, like... I'm hoping I fix my focus problems. Like for some reason, this camera was wanting to focus on like things behind me and not on me. And that's not what it's supposed to do. So I think I switched a setting and hopefully it's okay. Um, anyway, so it's Monday morning, December what day is it? 11th at nine. So this weekend I, what did I do? Oh my God, I saw Hamilton on Friday night. It was amazing. I thought to myself Friday, is it going to be worth the hype? You know, often when things are so hyped, you know, they just don't really live up to expectations. Hamilton totally blew me away. Here's the thing. That Lin-Manuel Lin Miranda, the guy that like wrote the whole thing, genius. Who thinks to themselves, hey, I want to write, I want to do a play about Hamilton, number one. Two, I want it to be a musical. And three, I'm going to make it like hip hop and rap. And it was just incredible. And then while it was set, you know, at the time of the founding of, of this country, it, there were a lot of things about it that were, you know, they made, he made a little more modern. I mean, obviously the music, but even in their personalities. And it was just, it was so cool. I thought it was so incredible. Like, I'm so grateful that my sister-in-law invited me to go with her. I loved it. It was so much fun. Um, so that was Friday night, and that was totally a highlight. The highlight of my New York City, um journey so far. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Okay. That's one. Then Saturday morning I went down, I went up to White Plains to my sister's and, um, you know, just the usual hanging out with the nephews and all that. Oh, she and I snuck away for a few hours to do some like Christmas shopping for the boys. <clears throat> and then the oldest nephew, they won't label him as having asthma, but he basically has asthma. Like he has to do this like apparatus breathing thing called a nebulizer that has medicine in it when he starts to get like sick and wheezy and like in the middle of the not in the middle of the night to him in the middle of the night it was like 10 you know 9 30 p.m um he woke up crying coughing his breathing was like bad so my sister and I took him to the urgent care so we were there till like midnight um, and you know, not that that's late usually, but then, you know, those boys wake up at the crack of dawn. So we're up, I mean, we're up before seven o'clock the next morning. So anyway, that was that. And then yesterday I came back to my apartment. Oh, and this is the excitement that I really wanted to show you. I waited for, um, a delivery from the container store, <clears throat> which was supposed to be here between 3 PM and 6 PM and didn't arrive until 7 PM, but say love a. Um, so I want to show you that. Um, yeah. So basically a couple things. One, I did get 
a rolling rack, which I put in this little, like, kind of dead space area of this apartment behind the couch and all that. And, like, there's the main area. So I have a rolling rack, which I can now use to show hauls or whatever. Um, I bought a couple of these shoe racks. This one I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet. But if we go into my room, you can see the refuge from all the boxes. The poor guy that delivered it, you know, had to climb up the six flight, the five flights of stairs. So I got two of these hanging, um, you know, like cubby things for sweaters. Cause it, I don't know, you pro I don't know if you can really tell the scale of this closet, but like, okay, so I'm five nine, and like the top of my hand hardly reaches that bar. So to get up to here is hard, but this is easier. Um, like, I have to really be on my tiptoes if I want to reach the things on that top bar. But anyway, so this is a pretty big, like, tall closet. Like, that's really too high for me to put stuff up there. Although maybe if I use my, um, stepping stool I can get up there and put some things that I don't need very often up there. But anyway, so I got these two things, which I really like. They come also in one longer thing, but obviously in this closet that wouldn't work. And then... Hold on, I want to turn on the light. Where is it? There, okay. So then I also got, so this is where the other shoe rack is back here. Um, oh, something fell down there. So I need to still organize. Um, the next step is I'm gonna now organize all these clothes. I got some like extra hangers here, the huggable hangers. Um, and then I'm gonna organize all these now that I put these things up there. There's my beautiful new Chanel jacket that I wore the other night that I love. Okay, the other thing is I cleared off this dresser because I have now... So I have this big, like, thing, you know, armoire type thing, which was just piled with stuff. So I got these. Like, so my belts are in one and my sunglasses are in another. So these are these nice, like, stackable crates. And then these, for jewelry... This one's heavy because it's got a lot in it, but like, look at all these nice like compartments here. So there's that, and it's nice because this is semi-clear so you can kind of see in it. And then I got this one that has like the longer spaces. So I'm psyched about those. And then the other thing I got is, so these drawers, again, I don't know if you can tell the scale, but like each of these drawers is really big. Like for example, like, this drawer has mostly like sheets in it. The bottom drawer has towels, but I've been using this drawer, but like it's so big, everything's piled in here. So I got these nice little like <clears throat> baskets. So one hat, like these basically have my workout stuff, like the socks and the workout bras and then the workout apparel and then just shoved off to the side are my like sleep clothes. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to be more organized. So, that is the organization endeavors. Um, pardon the attire, I'm just in my gym clothes. Hold on. Let's put this down. Okay, so, yeah, so yesterday, so the guy that owns this apartment was in town, so he came by to take a look at the windows. So I actually got to meet him in person, which was lovely. And it's great, he's so pleased because I'm obviously keeping his apartment very nice. He told me the last person that rented it like left it in kind of a mess. So he's like, you're the best tenant I've ever had. I'm so happy to have you. I'm like, well, I'm so happy to be here. Okay, then can we talk about our favorite movies? Because last night I was scrolling through, you know, trying to decide what I wanted to watch. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch Moonstruck. Because I have not seen that in I can't remember how long, and it's one of my all-time favorite movies. You guys have had to have seen Moonstruck. If you haven't, you should watch it, and even if you have, you should rewatch it. That movie, there are so many clever, like the dialogue is so clever. And what happened, whatever happened to Nicolas Cage? Like, where did he go? I just, it's so entertaining. It's, to me, laugh out loud funny. I can recite most of the good lines. It's just, it was, I was like, I forgot how much I loved it. 
Um, so yeah, so last night I basically cooked myself dinner, organized the closet stuff, which I still have a little more to do, and then watched Moonstruck, although I did fall asleep to it because I was tired. I mean, I don't think I started watching it till like 9.30. Um, so yeah, and now I'm just in my athletic apparel. I'm gonna go, I guess I'm gonna go to the gym. I need to go do something. My lower back on one side is bothering me. Like I was noticing yesterday as I was bending down, it was my bottom, like my right side. It's hurting me. Not hurting, but it's just like... Sore is an under... It doesn't hurt. It's more than sore and less than hurt, so I'm not sure how to describe it. But... <clears throat> so I'm not sure what I should do with the gym. And I don't know. It could be from the, like, you know, when I'm at my sister's, I'm constantly picking up. Well, especially the middle kid who, like, loves me so much. I mean, I love all of them, and I love him. But he loves me so much that he, like, needs to be attached to my hip at all times when I'm there. So I did have, you know, a 20, 25-pound kid on my hip, you know, for most of Saturday. Um, so maybe that's why. But that's actually not unusual activity for when I go visit. Anyway. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my day. I want to go up to the Met and see the Hockney exhibit. Um... That's really what I was planning on doing, but I do have a few errands to run. Like, I ordered my brother-in-law um, a Christmas gift, and I had it shipped to, like, I didn't, instead of having it shipped to me, I had it shipped to a store. So I have to go collect that. I had a few other, like, errandy kind of things to do. Like, I need some more of my um, Orbe shampoo and conditioner, which I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow, but I, they don't sell the Orbe. I think they sell the R and Co, which I also use. Like I switch back and forth, but I'm stocked up on the R and Co, but I'm low on the Orbe. Um, so maybe I'll go fetch some Orbe stuff today, and then you know who knows. Yeah, and that's it. I have no plans tonight, but I have a couple things this week. Like tomorrow night, I have dinner with like one of my sister's high school friends who I also obviously know. She's in town with her family, so we're gonna have dinner with them tomorrow night. And then Wednesday night, oh, Wednesday night is our sibling Wednesday night dinner. Yeah, so that's my excitement. Um, I think that's it. Okay, so current update is that <clears throat> it's Tuesday, December something. I never know the date. You know, it's so funny, like, in my morning routine, I like to watch live with Regis and, not Regis, with Kelly and Ryan. I just love their banter. Um, I just, you know when you believe them, like, you think they're, they seem like they're really friends and it's just really cute. So anyway, Kelly was saying to the audience today, she was like, do you guys really need me to tell you the date? Don't you already know the date? And I was thinking to myself, I mean, of course, if I need to know the date, I'll look at my phone. But I don't know the date. Um, like, I don't know. I just, I know it's around December 12th, something like that. Anyway, I just can't keep track. Actually, okay, next Monday is the 18th, so Tuesday is the 19th. So 19 minus 7 is 12. Yes, yeah, so it's December 12th. See the math? And I know the date's next week because I'm going to Boston because I have some doctor's appointments Monday and Tuesday. So, see, it's all relative. But anyway, the exciting news is that, so my birthday is in January, and my sister had said to me, she's like, you know, what do you want to do for your birthday? And my friend Sandy's coming down from Vermont. Um, Alicia can't come that weekend, so she and I will do something another time. But um, there's this restaurant that I've really been wanting to go to here in New York called Carbone. But it's like still always hard to get a reservation. Well, Sandy must have done it because we're going there for my birthday, which I'm so excited about. Like I got the, you know, she sent me the invitation this early this morning. So I woke up and I saw it in my email. I was like, yay, so excited. So I'm off to get my hair cut. Um, I think I'm going to cut it a little short. Part of me has been liking it longer. But part of me thinks if it were like, I'll insert a picture of how I really liked it when it was a little shorter, and I think I may have her do it a little shorter. 
Um, so anyway, today is hair day, which I always love hair day. The last time I went, I was literally there for four hours. Only that time, the, co the colorist was doing a full foil, and this time will only be a partial, so I'm hoping it won't take as long. Because four hours is a long time to be sitting in the salon. But, um, anyway, that's really all I have to report. I need to put on some jewelry. I got my nails done yesterday, which was very, you know, it dawned on me. I've been going to get my nails done on Mondays. So yesterday when I made the appointment, and I looked down and my nails were like chipped and I was like, yeah, I'm due for a manicure. I'll go, I'll get, you know, I'll go in. And when I went in, the woman that owns the place, like when she checked me and she's like, oh, you were just here a few days ago. And I thought to myself, what is she talking about? It's been a week. And then I thought about it. No, it hasn't been a week because a week ago, a week ago? Yeah, a week ago I was in Boston still. And so I didn't get my manicure till Wednesday, which means the last manicure I got did not last. Like lately they've been really lasting almost a week. I mean, yes, there are some chips, but there were a week's worth of chips yesterday, not four or five days worth of chips yesterday. So anyway, hopefully this one will last longer. And, oh, I did go up to um, Container Store and pick up more of the, this is actually a clever way to pack everything. You know, just like in a bag with this thing. I mean, I ended up taking a cab, but I was worried they were gonna pack it all in boxes and then I was gonna have to, um, you know, lug a bunch of boxes. And then the outfit of today, I need to put on a bracelet, is another Uniqlo cashmere sweater. These are J brand jeans. These are the new Proenza schooler booties that I got on sale from um, Net-A-Porte. This is a Sport Max cape. And I'm gonna carry my um, door bag. It's warm today. I think it's like 50 degrees at the moment. Um, maybe I'll try to step back. My place is kind of a mess at the moment. I need to um, straighten up a little. Tidy, I guess is the right word. So here is the full outfit. Um, other than I'm gonna probably throw on a bracelet. Maybe a necklace, but that's really it for now. I'll check in like after I get my hair quaffed. So it is Wednesday, December 13th, almost 10 a.m. I am freshly quaffed, well yesterday. It's a lot shorter. What do you think? It's shorter, I really like the cut shorter than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be more like here, but it'll grow. So this is it. It was another three and a half hours spent at the hair salon. They, the woman that does the color is meticulous, which I appreciate but it is a long time to be there. Like it takes a good, I get there at 11. You know, we chat till 11.15 like with my colorist and the, the stylist about like what I want. And then she goes and mixes the color and then by the time, um, you know, by the time she actually starts putting the color on, it's like 11.15. I think it was 12.30 by the time she was done. And then there's like a three rinse process because the right side, or no, the back got the color first. So first we rinse out the back and then I sit for like a few more minutes and then we rinse out the right side and then I sit for like another seven or eight minutes and then they rinse the whole thing. And then I get a gloss and I sit with that for a gloss, something. I sit with that for like 10 minutes and then I get cut. <laughs> so I was basically there from 11 to um, 2.30 I think. So that was half of my day yesterday. Then, oh, I went and met a friend at this bar in Gramercy called Dear Irving. I love it so much. It's like a bar out of the 60s, like the Mad Men people would be there. Totally 60s mod like decor, really dark. I tried to take a little video with my phone, but it was too dark. I couldn't take a video or a picture um, because there was just no light in there, unfortunately. But I loved it so much. Each table has one of those little buttons you push and it like lights up in the back behind the bar so the servers know when you need something. 
It's like a little call button for cocktails. <laughs> we all need a call button for cocktails. So anyway, that was really fun. And then I went to, um, we went to this place down near me called Kanji Village for dinner last night. With my, I went with my sister, my brother-in-law, and then like some friends from Florida were in town. And they have kids and stuff, so it's the perfect place for that. And we ate all sorts of um, soup dumplings and like Chinese roasted chicken that apparently this place has a real, I think the New York Times did an article about it, the process by which they like air dry the chicken so the skin gets really crispy. Delicious. And then I came home and now I'm off. I have a meeting with a recruiter um, this morning and then I have a call with another recruiter tomorrow, like a prep call because I have an interview, no, later today because I have a prep call. I have a prep call later today for an interview I have tomorrow. So that's really my day. And then tonight is my Wednesday night dinner with my siblings. So I will quickly back up and show you what I'm wearing. Stella McCartney blazer, Tory Burch um, blouse. Hermes bracelet. These are Sportmax trousers that I got last, like when I was in um, Milan last year. And my, these Proenza Schooler booties, which by the way, everybody thinks are Chanel. Um, and I love them. They remind me, can you see them? Am I far back enough? I think so. The screen is too small for me to tell, but I think I am. Um, They remind me of the glitter Chanel booties that I wanted, but like the glitter was very impractical. And these are much more practical in my life. So I am off. Yeah, it's almost 10, I gotta go.